Hello, it's Nikki. How are you doing? Um, I was reminded of something the other day when I was at my dad's house. And even though he's retired now, he still has like an office set up, you know, for doing paperwork and admin and things like that. And I remember as a teenager growing up and um, working in there and what a big flipping deal it was when we first got a computer. It, it blew our minds. It was almost like a robot had landed in uh, the office and nobody really knew what to do with it. We didn't want to get too close to it. We didn't want to touch anything, you know, just in case. And over the years, of course, we've all got used to computers and iPads and iPhones and Google stuff and all of it. Um, but I remember what a big deal it was. And that sense of going and working at somebody else's space, because my dad worked in this um, little room in the house where he did kind of weekend work or um, evening stuff. And so whenever you worked at that desk, you already felt like you were in somebody else's spot. And that time was so familiar to me because whenever you got to go in the computer room and sit at the desk, I always felt like I had to move things to the side so I could get my like big ring binder out or whatever it was. And I remember that every Christmas, my dad would get a lot of client gifts. So he might get a, a bottle of wine or whiskey or a champagne, if or I don't know. Um, I, I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't obviously touching those because I was a teenager. Um, but he would also get awful branded products. He would get mouse mats. He would get pen holders. He would get one of those big kind of jotter pads, you know, that had all the insurance or builders or accountants or whatever all the way around the outside, you know, with their names and their addresses and their fax numbers, fax numbers. And I was just thinking how that would have been in terms of the admin and actually getting the stock to people and saying, I mean... I don't know, maybe they drop them off at people's offices or homes, like massive, massive jotter pads. Would you want to put that in the post? No, because it would probably cost more to post it than it would. And how would you wrap? I mean, I've got so many questions. But my point being today is I think we can get so stressed out. I know that I can of like, am I doing the right thing? Or is this a good use of my time or what are the trends and we get really fixated on these external things of ways to to market our business and to put ourselves out there and I just had a moment this morning of going I don't how lucky am I that I don't have to send out mouse mats to people how lucky am I that I don't have to make horrendous foam pen holders for people to recognize my business or to build connections with people how lucky am i that i can create content on the internet and i can connect with people and i can have meetings over the internet and work with clients worldwide and i think sometimes especially in january maybe where you have these big dreams or things that you want to do and there's that kind of urgency like I want it you know I always use the Veruca salt but I like I want it now and sometimes it's not happening or moving quick enough for you so today I just want to remind you to just keep showing up to be visible to tell stories to engage with people to show what it is that you do and I often think about those mouse mats is that, yes, I could see their name, address and fax number, but I didn't know if they were any good or not. Or, yes, I might think of their name, but I really wanted to see the solution. I wanted to hear that they would do a good job. So I'm going to leave that with you today. If I can help you with your online presence, with your content, with the 
oh my goodness, I feel like I should show up, but I've no idea where to start. Do come over to your personal brand plan. It's in the program section of my website and I can give you a step-by-step process. I can help you. I can also do one-on-one sessions. So come over to my work with me page and um, yeah, let me know. Send me pictures if you find any horrendous branded merch. I I love to see it. I love to see it. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, for joining, and I'll see you very soon. Bye.